Hi, it's Kimberly's Bookshelf. Let's take a book off my bookshelf and read. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the end. Also, if there's a book you'd like me to read, please comment in the comment section below. Hi, today we're going to read The Three Little Pigs. There's the mama saying goodbye to her three pigs, her baby pigs. And this is illustrated by Milo Winter right here. And it says it's done by the Laughing Elephant. And they probably don't have an author here because it is a story that has been told over and over again. Probably don't know who the original author was at this point. Once there was a big mother pig and three little pigs. The little pigs grew and grew, and when they were big enough, the mother pig sent them out into the world to make their own living. With tears in her eyes, she waved them goodbye. The first little pig started out and met a man with some straw. He said, Please give me some straw to build a house with. The man gave him the straw, and he built himself a little house. Along came a wolf and knocked at the door. Little pig, little pig, he said, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, answered the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in said the wolf, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. But the pig ran away just in time, for the wolf surely would have eaten him up. There it is. Poor little pig. His whole house gone. Now, it says the second little pig started off down the road and met a man who was carrying a large bundle of sticks and twigs. Please give me some of that bundle of sticks and twigs, said the second little pig. I'm just starting out in the world, and I want to build myself a house. The man was very kind and gave the sticks and the twigs to the little pig, and the little pig built himself a fine-looking little house. Pretty soon, along came the big bad wolf and knocked at the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, called the wolf. Oh, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, shouted the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. But the pig ran away just in time, for the wolf surely would have eaten him up. Oh, dear. Now, when the third little pig started out, he met a man with a load of bricks. Please, Mr. Man, he said, would you give me those bricks? I want to build myself a house, and the bricks will make it good and strong. <coughs> the man gladly gave the load of bricks to the little pig and some mortar to hold them together. And the little pig very carefully built himself a house that was strong and sturdy. The little pig slept that night in his brand new house, and the first thing next morning, who should come knocking at the door but the wolf? Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, answered the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he could not blow the house in. <laughs> Smart pig. The wolf was very hungry at this, but he pretended to be nice to the little pig and he said, There are for some fine turnips in Mr. Smith's garden. I'll call you tomorrow morning at six o'clock and we'll get some for dinner. <laughs> The wolf thought he could get the little pig outside. Then he could eat him up. But the little pig got up at five o'clock. That's an hour before six o'clock. 
dug his turnips and brought them home in a basket. The next morning, the wolf called at the little pig's window. Are you ready? <laughs> Am I ready? Chuckled the little pig. I gathered my turnips at five o'clock, and now they're cooking in the kettle. The wolf was angry to be so full, but he said, "Would you like to come with me at five o'clock tomorrow morning and get some apples? There is a fine tree full at the merry garden." Oh, thinks he's gonna trick the little pig again. The next morning, the little pig got up at four o'clock and went to gather his apples. He was high up in the tree, filling his sack with the big red apples. When the wolf came along, let me toss you an apple," said the little pig. He threw the apple so far that while the wolf was running after it, the little pig came down from the tree and ran home with his sack of apples before the wolf could turn around. The next day, the wolf came again and knocked at the little pig's door. "Little pig," he said, "there is a fair at Shinklin this afternoon. Would you like to go?" "Surely I would," said the little pig. "Promise to be ready at three o'clock," said the wolf, "and I will call for you." "I'll be ready," said the little pig. "What do you think the little pig will do?" The little pig, however, went to the fair at two o'clock, an hour ahead of the wolf. He had such fun. He rode round and round on the merry-go-round. He bought himself some peanuts and some pink lemonade. He played ta ring toss and won an umbrella with a carved handle. Finally, he bought a churn, which he needed to make his butter with, and he started home, taking the churn and the umbrella with him. He was halfway home when he saw the wolf coming up the hill. The little pig was so frightened that he climbed into the butter churn to hide from the wolf, who would surely catch him this time if he ever saw him. But when he got inside, the churn tipped over and rolled down the hill with the little pig inside. Faster and faster it went, roll, roll, rolling down the hill, scaring the big bad wolf. So he ran away. Oh, look how scared he looks. Indeed, the wolf was so dreadfully frightened when he saw the big churn come rolling down the hill. He didn't go to the fair at all. He turned right around and ran straight home. Then he went to the little pig's house. Little pig, he said, a big round thing came rolling down the hill today and frightened me something terrible. <laughs> Oh, that! Laughed the little pig. <laughs> that was my churn, and I was inside it. <laughs> <laughs> When the wolf heard this, he was so angry. He said, "I am, <clears throat> I am coming right down your chimney to eat you up." Come right along," said the little pig, <laughs> laughing because he was all ready for him with a big kettle full of boiling water. The wolf came down the chimney and fell right into the kettle. Crisplash! He leaped out of the kettle and ran, outsmarted by this too clever little pig. The three little pigs lived happily ever after, for the wolf never bothered them again. <laughs> He caught him in the boiling water, and there he goes, running away. And that was the three little pigs. Thank you for reading with me. Don't forget to subscribe and like this page.